right to be wedded to this man? I do. You may now be seated. I truly can't think of a better venue for an occasion that I know is not only monumental for the wedded couple to be, but for all who are lucky enough to know and love them as individuals, but even more so as a perfect pairing. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person that makes you feel complete, the person that makes the world a beautiful and magical place, the person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. John and Maya's story begins in a hole in the ground. Not a nasty, dirty, wet hole filled with the ends of worms and ooze, nor yet a dry, bare, sandy hole with nothing in it to sit down or to eat. It was the half-buried lecture hall at the New Mexico Institute of Mining and Technology. This is where their love story began. It didn't take long for these two to realize that they had so much in common. And soon, they spent their days in class together and their evenings studying the night away. And on special occasions, every now and then, they would spend time together without books in hand. Finals came and went, but their schedules seemed to oddly align, and they continued to see each other, and after almost a year, they started dating. Though they can't pinpoint their exact first date since they had had too many study dates to remember, their favorites were late night sonic runs and trips to Walmart at 1 a.m. This was truly the middle of nowhere. Things began or became a little more difficult after that. Maesa and John finished their degrees, and while John elected to stay at Tech to complete his master's, Maesa moved an hour north to start medical school. Still, they texted daily and saw each other every weekend. This went on for four years until medical school was done and Maesa and John could move here to Salt Lake to finish their training and start their lives together. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It is standing together and facing the world. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. And it is not only marrying the right partner, but it is being the right partner. The road that has brought John and Maisa here today hasn't always been easy. It's been filled with challenges that they weren't necessarily prepared for, but together they've taken each one on and have used those experiences to strengthen, not weaken their love. We are gathered together before God to join John and Maisa in the union of marriage. This contract is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. John and Maissa have each prepared vows that they will now read. John. To the man who would make up questions you already knew the answer to, so he had a reason to talk to me when we first met. To the man who greeted me at the door with cake and candles when I had to work on my birthday. To the man who went skiing with me and fell over and over again, only to get back up and try again, because he knew how much I loved my sport. To the man who cheered for me when I succeeded, even when we were in direct, even when we were in direct competition. To the man who always agrees to my wacky and sometimes wild adventures. To the man who tells me over and over again that I don't need makeup or to go to the gym to be beautiful. 
to the man who works tirelessly to make me smile every single day, to the man who has been there and supported me every step of the way, to the man who taught me to live today rather than to work for a distant, undefined tomorrow. What can I possibly say? But I love you and thank you for being you and for brightening my life every single day. I promise to always be by your side and support you. I promise to do the dishes sometimes <laughs> and to keep my mess somewhat at bay. I promise to laugh with you, to smile with you, and in hard times to be someone who can lean on. I promise to never stop loving you and to work to help our love bloom and grow in the coming years. I love you now and forever. I can't wait to start this next life our adventure together. I remember you telling me that all you wanted to hear was that I like you very much. <laughs> Hopefully I can do slightly more than that here. My Issa, since I've met you, you've been the best part of my life. I really don't know how I could have gotten past through the past 10 years without you. You've always been there for me when everything's falling apart. And between school, residency, and everything else going on in life, I am so grateful that I had someone I could always trust to help me through it all. So, to the woman I it's truly been amazing getting to grow up with you. I look forward to spending the rest of my life with you as well. I promise to love you, cherish you, and always strive to be the man that you could have born in your house. Please repeat after me. I'm Maya take you, John, to be my lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. John, please repeat after me. I, John, take you, my son, to be my last few men in life. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. John and Maissa will now exchange rings as a symbol of their love and commitment to each other. <laughs> Maissa, please place the ring on John's left hand and repeat after me. With this, with this ring, I be led. And John, please place the ring on Maya's left hand and repeat after me. With this ring, I be led. A ring is an unbroken circle with ends that have been joined together, and it represents your union. It is a symbol of infinity and of your uh, infinite love. When you look at these rings on your hands, may you be reminded of this moment, your commitment, and the love that you now feel for one another. To make your relationship work, we'll take love, patience, and respect. Continue to date each other. Take time to show each other that you value your marriage. Trust each other, and know in your hearts that you truly want what's best for one another. Stay open and honest with each other, and above all, remember the commitment that you have made on this day and work daily to strengthen your marriage. Today, Maissa and John are honored that you are present with them for this ceremony. As so, this day they declare before all of us that they shall live together in marriage. In the traditional way, they entered into their marriage with the making of vows and promises 
and giving and receiving of rings, an outward symbol of their voluntary commitment to one another. And now, by the power vested in me by the state of Utah, and above all, with God as a witness, it is my honor and delight to pronounce you as husband and wife. You may now kiss. Woo!